Hello, Aquarius. Welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. Welcome on your reading. I'm going to do your bonus, October 2023 um, reading and prediction. What's coming? Who is coming? Keep an open mind. This is a general reading. So take what resonates and leave the rest. You can book a personal reading. Everything is given in my description box. So you can reach out to me if you want to. Do not get scammed. I will never contact you. I will never reach out to you. So I hope you saw the card. This was a death, Scorpio. So you could be dealing with the Scorpio. But let's see. What's happening, Aquarius? Sun, moon, rising, the moon. Mm, five of Wands, conflicted about something, something that you're not understanding, something keep going on in your head a lot. Four of Pentacles, worried about things. Some of you, you could be worried about money or Six of Swords, worried about someone. Fighting with your feelings. Why are you doing that? This could be a struggle and challenge. Uh, Wheel of Fortune. Knight of Pentacles. You could be dealing with an earth sign or water. Oh, Emperor, the daddy. Seven of Wands, Five of Pentacles. Why are you resisting this love, Aquarius? That's knocking at your door. It's time to get to know this person. It's time to open your heart, Aquarius. Hmm. Either this is a new love that's knocking at you, but I think this is King of Cups and Ace of Cups. You can trust this person. This person will love you as you want it to be loved. You could be falling in love, Aquarius. I'm feeling this is love, but you're not understanding. You're mixing up these feelings. You could be resisting. You could be in a denial, like, no, 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 no. That's not the feelings. I'm not falling. You could be struggling with it, with the moon card. Yeah, you're having a difficult time to accept it or to admit it, or this could be someone else here. Yeah, you could be dealing with someone who's very stubborn with the Emperor and the Four of Pentacles. This person definitely could be um, Aries that you're connecting with, could be Taurus. Um, now, I'm also seeing a lot of water here, so it could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We also have a Sagittarius or Pisces energy, very strong. Taurus again, could be Virgo and Capricorn. Yeah, you're definitely dealing with someone with the Emperor and Four of Pentacles who's very dominant, very masculine, very controlling. Um, they're like, no, no, it's not possible. I'm the boss. This could be literally your boss or someone that who's senior than you or this person is the boss of their own life. Like whenever they want something, they just get it. Interesting. Person like this can falling in love this much. It's very intense for this person. Now, I'm also feeling some of you, this is your business. Like you're worried about your business, your career. There could be some type of a struggle going on, competition, fights going on here. Be careful. You could be struggling. Uh, you, you could be having some type of a fight or conflict or argument with your boss, with your senior or your authority. So be, try to, you know, like control it. Uh, it can bring a lot of drama here. Or if, if there is a drama already going on here. So maybe there is this month, I can see that with the Six of Swords, finally things are resolving between you and these people that you're working with, working together with. This could be struggle with your husband or partner, divine counterpart, whoever you're living with or in a relationship. Even this could be a struggle with your father for some of you. A father figure or could be someone that who is already a father. I don't know with the ember energy going on here. But I think this is someone who's very controlling, dominating, a businessman, a woman. But this is a very masculine energy. This person is very like hiding their feelings. They're fighting it. They're in a denial like, no, it's not possible that I'm in love. But they are. They're resisting it. I think this is also someone who cannot stop resisting. They cannot resist falling for you. King of Cups and Ace of Cups. There's a lot of love here. This person is falling in love. They cannot resist it. But they're going to take it slow with the Knight of Pentacles. Wheel of Fortune. Things are changing between you and this person. Maybe this is someone that you had a fight and conflict with, an argument with. And they want to change the situation with the Wheel of Fortune and Six of Swords. I think universe is giving you the you giving you both opportunity to work on this connection, to heal and mend things between you and them. This could be even father or mother of your children, some of you. But I think this is a new love with the King of Cups and Ace of Cups. And this could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, who is falling in love with you, or you are falling in love with a water sign. This person could have a water moon, or maybe earth moon. They are very stubborn, by the way. This could be your energy too, Aquarius, that you are resisting to fall in love with this person. You're like resisting it, like, no, I cannot, I cannot, no, it's not possible because you're struggling with already some type of a situation and you don't want to 
someone is thinking that they're going to lose the control in the situation they're going to lose it all if they will choose love or if they will fall in love i don't know someone is definitely feeling it they 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 also think that they're going to lose the stability they're going to lose their reputation they're going to lose their image they're going to lose their but they i think you are making them weak like they're definitely getting weak about this connection like they cannot help it falling for this they cannot deny it anymore even though they're struggling now this could be even someone else here like you could be keep denying it and this person cannot stop falling in love with you aquarius but they're going to take it slow or this is like a slow burning trying to get to know each other and then this can be they're going to develop into something more because i'm seeing two of pentacles if this is a new love you're going to get to know them because you're already dealing with someone who has already have a lot of things in their plate or you have already a lot of things in your life going on so you're really overwhelmed about this energy but i think universe is giving you this opportunity and chance to find a new love and this person is here are coming into your life six of swords there's definitely going this could be even start as a long distance maybe that's why this person going to be afraid or they're going to think like it's not going to work some of you there could be a good news about pregnancy you could be becoming a mother or there could be some issues here to become a mother i'm also picking up here you could be dealing with because we have a emperor and wheel of fortune and ace of cups there's a lot of love here so it could be divine feminine or masculine so it could be twin flame connection for some of you not for everyone i'm also feeling for some of you you are starting your own business and if you already have your business you could be starting something new and expanding something new in your business there could be a new job coming also for some of you you could be signing a new contract also yeah healing heart okay you're definitely in the process of healing heart when the new love is knocking at your door universe is definitely giving you the chance to be with this person this can be someone who can heal your heart with their love because this person has a lot of love for you and they can love you the way you deserve the way you want it to be some of you this is also talking about uh freedom from toxic relationship some of you you could be ending a some type of a toxic situation ship or you're struggling with something and this person going to help you to get out of this situation are you loving yourself finally you're being happy and satisfied i can see that finally you're finding that peace that you were looking for finally destiny is changing and knocking at your door yeah you definitely getting over some karmic relationship i think some of you you're in the process of getting over karmic relationship karmic marriage karmic contract situation ship with someone you could be even triggered by this person okay that you think that the keys on ring this could be someone that who has many options they have a choices they have a decision to make or this is going to looks like a unconventional or unusual type of a connection because obviously you could be different from each other or there is a status difference or long distance i don't know there's a decision to be made here to accept this person offer or not or maybe you have a many options or there's a lot of things going on in the, in your plate in your life so you need to make a decision here this could be start as a one night stand or maybe already started as a one night stand be careful with that some of you you're letting go of everything and loving yourself accepting yourself accepting the situation your five of pentacles this could be someone who left you out in the cold they blocked you they resist and you keep fighting for your feelings you keep fighting and being ignored and rejected by this person some of you it's a definitely karmic relationship that you're getting over or healing and others of you this is someone that entering in your life maybe they are also struggling like they're going to mirror you somehow but the love is coming um aquarius the love is coming love is here someone is here to give you their love to give you their heart i strongly feel this person has some type of a water placements in their chart um they could be a water sign but they have a water placements i think so this person can heal your heart this person can heal your situation they can get you out of this type of a situation that you are stuck in but you really need to let down your guard here aquarius it's going to be difficult there is definitely a lot of affection here attraction here from this person there's a lot of passion here and this is like oneness some of you this is self love that you're giving to you finally accepting who you really are and loving yourself and being in 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 your authentic self and this is going to bring the right person in your life you could be manifesting someone new something is changing in your life with the wheel of fortune and six of swords but i think there is also destiny is also bringing something to you there's something going to be 
good luck, a good news in this month for you. An offer maybe, offer of love, offer of, <clears throat> of healing the situation with someone. Or uh, let's say it could be offer of, um, you know, your work. There's something gonna you celebrate, you're going to be happy, you're going to be satisfied. This could be also about, it's like finally things are changing for you. You're getting over some karmic things. And we already crossed, I think, lunar eclipse here. So it could be. Hmm, the moon effects here. Now with the moon and Jupiter, your moon and Jupiter could be conjunct with this person. This is going to be a spiritual connection. You're going to have the, uh, like, this person will understand you. You will have a good understanding with this person. Okay, this is going to be a spiritual connection, definitely. But you need to open your heart for this person. You need to welcome this love. Or let's say this person wanting to come back and they have a lot of love for you. So think about it. But this person is very stubborn or you're, very, you're, you're acting very stubborn. Someone need to definitely acknowledge their feelings. I think this person is acknowledging their feelings. They cannot resist this love anymore. They, they're finally admitting that this is love and they, they want to be in love. They want to make the effort here. This could be even coming with a proposal or ring. I told you some type of a proposal, offer, either in love, relationship, career, business. There's going to be, you could be even starting a business partnership with someone that's going to help you improve your money, your finances. It's a good luck. It's a, you're going to be lucky. This person could be uh, very lucky for you. I think if they are rich and wealthy, they could be have money, they could have a status, or they could be successful in their work. So they're gonna bring uh, some type of a big changes or new relationships for you, new environment, fresh of, breath of fresh air for you. Some of you, you could be also changing a location one place to another. I can see that. Or your work is changing or improving, okay? So that's your reading. I'm gonna see you later. Bye, God bless you all.